we decided to leave Carlsbad and head towards White Sands State Park via US 82, which is through the Lincoln National Forest. There were several overnight stops on forest roads we wanted to try. Continue on New Mexico 244 North for three quarters of a mile. Oh, we'll figure out if this was a bad idea. June four wheel drive. Okay, then let's ne let's say no. I mean, I can try. No, if we're already sliding, so we will need to turn around. does say Bailey Canyon Roadside. After you first enter the ca canyon, there's a pull off on the right side of the road. Great option if you're in a car and don't want to, don't have to go up the hill. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do then. Unless you want to go up the hill. No, that's okay. I think I can pass on the hill. And then we can do like a 20 point turn? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just watching your tires for slippage. All right, let me pick this up. Ah. Right, what I'm gonna do is maybe back up towards that bank. Got it. That makes sense to me. It's just slippy. That's the thing that's not much fun. Yeah. Still passenger. Keep on coming back. Oh, you're slipping. Whoa! That was fun. Maybe we just stay there. Let's see what kind of level we are. Okay. We are way off. Left to right. We are way off front to back. I don't think I really want to put blocks on, though. I don't know. Is this a no-go? Yeah, we gave up and looked for other campsites off the mountain. It was probably good we gave up on staying in Lincoln National Forest since it was going to snow and wind chills were planned to be below zero. But definitely time to look at different tires. Do they not have a height? Oh, there it is. 17. Oh, that's fine. Okay. It's in the middle, though. We should be okay. I just hugged the middle. Actually, we're fine. Cool. Yeah. Why didn't the lights go on yet? Okay. <coughs> they didn't mention a tunnel. Wow! Stop here! Okay, we just came out of this tunnel and we come out and see this. Wow! A little windy, but gorgeous. We ended up finding another site that was close to White Sands off Dog Canyon Road. After the long day, we just parked, made dinner, and crashed. But I did drag myself out to capture this beautiful sunset reflected on the mountains. Good morning. We're leaving this wonderful site this morning to head to White Sands National Park. What a beautiful morning. It was a little chilly last night, but not too bad. Boy, I am really loving these sights here. How could it go wrong with that view? Wow. Ah. 
And the scenery is nice too. You can head into the visitor center to read more about the area, but instead we chose to listen to the self-guided tour on the NPS app. Funny thing about the app though, my phone didn't get enough cell coverage to play the self-guided tour. We ended up using our router and antenna. Rode away with the wind in just a matter of years. These footprints will never tell us everything we want to know about what human and megafauna life at the time was like but they do provide snapshots. Hey, good morning. Well, we decided to stop at the White Sands National Park um, since it's open. There's no missiles being fired and eh, we should be okay. But anyway, we thought we'd check out some of the dunes behind us, go play in some sand, see what's going on. It's a little chilly today. Um, that's why we've got our heavier jackets on, but I think we're well prepared to go out into the dunes. Yep, fill our shoes with sand. Woo! Yay! Look at those mountains over there, so beautiful. And that snow-capped mountain over there, that's the one we went through. Yeah, we drove through that mountain with the snow on it. And we chose not to stay there. And we chose not to <laughs> not to stay there because yeah, it was a little sketchy in 10 inches of snow, so. It was 10 inches. Yes, it was. It does feel pretty, uh, pretty light. It's a lunar landscape. It's kind of just like snow. It's just all sand. A bunch of people sliding down the hills. Hey. By the only tree in the park you can see so far. Going around circles? I'm taking Mike for a circle drive here. Since we spent a good part of the day at White Sands, I chose a state park that wasn't too far away, called City of Rocks. What the hell? That's so not expected. What is it? This will be interesting to find out why, 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 why. Oh, I 
I think we found another epic place to camp. Look at this. We're completely surrounded by rocks. I, I never would have expected this. We're at City of Rocks State Park. are such amazing campsites. They're all like nestled in all of these rocks. There is a section that has electric, but you don't get these kind of epic campsites. We came in last night after uh, visiting the White Sands National Park and realized that we were probably we were probably traveling a little too fast. I think we were focused more on traveling like a vacation and uh, we got tired and crappy, which is not surprising. So we're going to stay here for another, um, for a couple of days, still um, faster than we'd like, but um, uh, definitely need to take a moment and enjoy this kind of view. We were really hoping to do a lot of hiking out on this trip, but I think I may need to reduce my expectations because in all honesty, I'm having a hard time after the COVID. It's three weeks after now, and I'm still having a hard time breathing. I think it got into my chest a bit. Nights are still pretty rough with the uh, can, coughing. I honestly don't know how Gary gets to sleep at all. Uh, but hopefully it will get better. If you had COVID and um, was still coughing about three, four weeks later, let me know when it went away. I would love to hear four or five weeks. Give me the positive ones, please. My face hurts from smiling so much. This is so awesome. Hopefully I won't trip. Yeah, good morning. We're at the City of the Rocks. And this place is amazing. It is absolutely stunning. And I don't think I've ever had a better campsite anywhere. Well, it's a little off off level, but you know, hey. <laughs> it is it is You are in the mountains. It's a perfect backdrop. We are on our way to to go on a five-ish mile hike around the area and we'll be taking you along with. We're going up that. What? So that's where we're headed. Not the bathroom. This is gonna be neat. If those are snake holes, I, I am truly terrified. I don't what could they be? The yeah, I don't know. Let me go way to the top of the table mountain. It's a crazy looking campground. I can't believe a volcano just barfed them out. So, yeah, this, <laughs> this uh, is all from volcanic eruption about hundreds of thousands of years ago. And through erosion, these rocks have appeared and so what the state did was is they put campers, campground kind of areas in between the rocks. Super views though. Just never gets old. Continuing on the trail. I don't know if I'll get up there. We will. We will? Yeah. Fine, Look at those little rocks. They're like kissing each other. Look at this. I don't know. I don't know. 
You'll be at the top. It's totally awesome. Well, I think we're gonna have a little lunch right here. Could have had lunch here. Down there is our campground. It's right down there. The road coming into the campground. It's right there. But you can see all these mountains. Oh yeah, and there's someone there. The most amazing part of the whole You can you can never get away with some peaceful tranquility. Oh my, there's somebody again. That's cool, you can see all the mountains in the background. We're on top of the world. We're on top of it, well, almost. It feels like it. It's only 6,000 feet, so it's not that high, but it feels like you are. It's high enough for me. Definitely. It's higher than anything you see in Illinois. That's for sure. Except the taxes. Oh, whew. really? We had to do, we had to end with politics. <laughs> well, of course. Oh my. It's like 360 degree views of awesomeness. And then Gary. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. I want to touch it. No, don't. Good morning. Good morning. We're leaving City of Rock State Park and going to be headed west again. We'll let you know as we go. Um, what do you think about so? This is the coolest campground I've ever been in. Now <laughs> it's it's probably not the most level. Of course, this is just our site, but. Um, it, there's a lot there's some other level sites that you can get pretty level but how well, we figured out a way to do it truck was perfect so we got plenty of solar so yes this had a major wow factor on this uh, on this even coming in as well as just finding our spot the hike we did yesterday was amazing was fantastic yep. uh definitely a, a stop for a day or two this is a put it on your to-do list yep. cool park all right, well, we got to head out. Thanks for stopping by. We hope to see you next week as we head to the Quartzite RV Show. See you next week.